If you've received this frustrating error when trying to install a Windows Server or client onto VMware Workstation Player version 17, I'm going to show you how to fix it. There's several reasons why you might receive that error. One might be that you don't have enough hard drive space on the host. But in most cases, what the problem is, is because of a problem during creation of the virtual machine itself. So I'm going to click on Create a New Virtual Machine and take a look. It wants to choose an ISO file that's already on your computer, either a DVD or an ISO file. And that's because it's going to choose this automatic installation application that's built into the VMware Player Workstation. And it does doesn't work on every single computer. So what you want to do is click the I will install the operating system later instead. Click Next. Choose whatever version of Windows you're going to do. Choose the location for your virtual machine. And now you want to choose the size. Again, double check this size you have free. And you can choose the store as a single image, which runs a little bit faster, or split into multiple files. Doesn't have any issue as far as that error goes, so choose what you want. And I'll click Finish. Now, before you start this up, you want to go into Edit the Virtual Machine Settings. Otherwise, it's not going to properly boot off of the DVD. So you're going to click on CD DVD, choose Use ISO Image File, browse to that image file, and I downloaded it into a folder called ISOs. And I'll choose my Windows 2019 ISO. And if you see a floppy disk in here, you won't always see this. But if you do, just go ahead and uncheck it. Keep it from powering on just by unchecking the connected power on if you see a floppy disk. And that's because it's trying to find a license key in there that doesn't exist. Now we'll go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to start it up. Now, when it starts up, you will have to press the button to boot off the DVD. So if you don't, and you only have a couple of seconds to do it, then you're not going to get anywhere. Now, as it boots up, you also need to hit the Control-Alt button if you want to get outside of your virtual machine, unless you've installed the additional keyboard tools or driver that was an option during the installation of the program. And there's my Windows 2019. Now, the rest of this can all just go normally. There's nothing else you need to choose. It will just automatically run through your basic installation with whatever options you choose. But I do want to make sure to show you that you'll no longer get that error. So I'm going to click on, I don't have a product key. Unless you do have one, then just go ahead and type it in. And you want to choose the desktop experience. I noticed that some people have this error if they choose standard, which is just the core version. We don't want that. Go ahead and click Next. Choose the I accept license terms, Next. Custom. Choose the default, Next. And now it's going to run through the installation. So you'll notice that we should get through this entire installation without seeing that error. Now, I've noticed that Windows Server 2022 doesn't work on all computers. It's not working on mine, which is why I'm not installing it. Uh, so if you're trying to install Windows Server 2022 and you get that error message, it may be something that we just have to wait for VMware Workstation Player to get an update in order to fix it. I'm running on a Windows 10 host. That may have something to do with it. It may not. Um, I'm running on an Intel i5 processor as well. Sometimes some people may have more or less trouble using an AMD processor. If you do get the option to install the VMware tools, always do that. It does make this a much smoother experience. It's not going to install the tools right away. It's going to wait until you're booted up into Windows. The installation was successful, and it's now restarting into Windows Server 2019. A couple other ideas to have in case you still get the error. One is to make sure your host operating system is completely up to date. And Try downloading your ISO file a second time in case it really is corrupt for some reason. So that is how you get through that error in most cases in VMware Workstation Player 17.